PyCharm's first release of 2017 is out. Faster debugger, better test runners, web framework improvements, visual database enhancements, SSH multi-factor authentication, and much more. Let's take a quick look at what's new in PyCharm 2017.1. For Python 3.6 projects, PyCharm's debugger is now 10 to 80 times faster using the new Frame Evaluation API and other speedups. In 2016.3, certain code slowed down the debugger. Under 2017.1, the same code and breakpoint, when run under the debugger, is much faster. Not on 3.6 yet? 2017.1's debugger is two times faster, even on older Pythons. PyCharm 2017.1 reinvents our test runners, which now use a common protocol. Previously, certain features, such as reading test configuration from setup.cfg, wasn't supported for the nose run configurations. During execution, configurations such as ignore files was, well, ignored. In 2017.1, setup.cfg works as it would with nodes from the command line, and ignore files leads to no tests found. Facebook's Jest testing platform is popular as the default for React, and 2017.1 provides integration. Run tests from the IDE and see the output in the dedicated window. New in 2017.1, for Jest and Mocha, you can run a test or a suite with an inline icon. Passing and failing tests are now decorated with green or red gutter icons beside the test. The test window can be reorganized to show or hide passing tests, sort tests in different ways, then navigate to the test source. Ever get stuck debugging a failing test? Then set a breakpoint and run it under the debugger to stop in the context of the test. You can then inspect everything, just like source debugging. Other web development improvements. Updated support for the latest Django, Flask, and Pyramid. Plugin available for Vue.js support. Autocomplete and generate imports in React. Better code insight from the Angular language service. Package.json completion for package name and version. Configure the project for the JavaScript standard style. Customize import sorting. And more. PyCharm Professional bundles DataGrip, the JetBrains IDE for databases. 2017.1 adds per database colors. For example, use a red background color to warn you that you are working on a production database. Also in this release, drag and drop to import data such as TSV or CSV, and drag and drop tables between databases, including across systems. The IntelliJ platform under PyCharm has added features to the version control tool windows. Want richer ways to filter big logs? Regular expressions can now be used as a filter expression on commit messages. More versioning changes in 2017.1 show history commits across all branches and a redesigned branches pop-up. If you're security conscious, you may have hardened your server's SSH access with two-factor authentication. PyCharm now supports connecting to SSH servers that are protected with Google Authenticator. Jupyter Notebooks are a great way to do research, especially with team members. PyCharm 2017.1 supports connecting to Jupyter Notebooks on a shared server. First, configure your Jupyter settings with an HTTPS URL, username, and password. Now, when you create a Jupyter Notebook and enter work in a cell, it runs on the notebook server. When doing data science, seeing the data you're working on makes the work a lot easier. That's why we've taken our data frame and NumPy array viewer and evolved them into a dedicated data view pane. The data viewer can be used as a tool window, then use autocomplete to open a new data set in a tab. 
long functions can be hard to decipher. Want a better way to spot your variables? 2017.1 allows semantic highlighting. Our functions now use different colors for different function arguments and variables. PyCharm 2017.1 has many other improvements as well, part of our effort to both deliver new features and address issues in each new release. Thanks for downloading 2017.1 and thanks for watching this overview of the new release.